Today we're going to make the seed cake that Mrs. Temple gives to Helen Burns and Jane Eyre. You will need a handful of caraway seeds and flour, eggs separated, along with sugar. Add the egg yolks and sugar into a bowl and beat on high speed until the mixture becomes pale, fluffy, and thick and falls in ribbons like this. To another bowl, you're going to add the egg whites and beat on high until foamy. And just continue beating until it becomes more opaque and eventually forms soft peaks and at the end forms stiff peaks. Stiff peaks point straight out when the beater is lifted. Next, add the flour in four additions. So this is a quarter of the flour that I added. And then add a spoonful of the meringue and fold with a spatula. And then you're just going to repeat this three more times. So a quarter of the flour, a spoonful of meringue and fold it in. And once you are done all that, add the rest of the meringue into the batter and gently and quickly fold until incorporated. You don't need to mix it fully though because you're going to add the handful of caraway seeds and continue folding until the mixture is homogeneous. Be gentle with the meringue though, you don't want it to deflate. And once you have a smooth batter like that, you can pour it into a buttered and lined 8 inch springform pan. On the surface of the batter, sprinkle some more caraway seeds. This is just for adornment. And then sprinkle some granulated white sugar. It will make the top crispier. And give it a bang on the counter. Bake this for 35 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. You can unmold the cake immediately and also peel off the parchment at the bottom. And basically the cake is done now. I really like the unique taste of the seeds. Basically this is an old fashioned sponge cake that is fluffy and has caraway seeds in it. So a little bit more on Jane Eyre and this cake. So Jane Eyre and Helen Burns are very close friends at boarding school and they are kind of outcasts but Mrs. Temple serves them this cake wrapped in brown paper along with tea and they share a very special moment together and this is before Helen Burns falls ill. So make sure you read Jane Eyre if you haven't already and enjoy the cake. Bye!